Jesse Ryder picked up where he left off with the ball last season by claiming a five-wicket haul to give his Essex side an ideal start to the new LV County Championship season against Kent in Chelmsford, only for the visitors to come charging back on a day in which 16 wickets fell. James Foster inserted after winning the toss and Jamie Porter struck with his ninth delivery of the summer to send back Joe Denley on his return to the Kent Fold, Foster starting his campaign with a neat catch. Ryder, who grabbed 44 wickets with five fifers last year, was on in the ninth over and was celebrating a wicket in his fourth after trapping Rob Key in front for 18. Sam Northeast came and went quickly, Ryder on the money again with Greg Smith claiming the catch in the slips to leave Kent on 49 for three. That became 72 for four when Daniel Bell Drummond was the first victim this summer of David Masters, a man who just keeps going and going. Bell Drummond was on his way for 30, following a shot he won't be too pleased with. Ryder then cleaned up Fabian Cowdery for 18 shortly after lunch, as the visitors struggled with the conditions, slipping to 87 for 5. They needed a partnership to kickstart their innings, and one began to develop between Darren Stevens, now in his 19th season in the first-class game, and Sam Billings, a man who came of age last year, and one who now has a very big summer ahead of him. These two stuck it out for 12 overs in adding 38 runs together. Foster turned to Smith in the 45th over and he wasted little time in getting rid of Billings for 20. Nick Brown with a catch in the covers off another rather loose stroke. In the end, Kent were dismissed for 193. Stevens with 50 and Ryder ending with figures of 5 for 43 from 18 overs. But Kent now enjoyed their time with the ball in hand. Returning duo Matt Coles and Denley combined to remove Tom Wesley for five. Ivan Thomas impressed given his trouble with injuries over the years, ones which threatened his career as a young man. His opening spell of six overs cost nine runs and included the wicket of Brown. Dan Lawrence's debut innings ended on ten. Stevens back in the action again on a day enjoyed by the medium pacers who could get the ball to wobble through the air. Coles then removed Foster all by himself to reduce Essex to 47 for four on a day when batting was certainly never easy. Next to go was Ryder for a dozen, Stevens producing just the kind of delivery that the Kiwi had had such success with earlier on. Before the all-rounder completed another damaging day for him with the wicket of the night watchman Porter to end with figures of three for 23 from seven overs to go with his half century. That was the final ball of a fascinating day's play, one which ended with Essex now up against it a bit on 67 for 6, meaning that they have work to do on the second morning when they'll resume 126 runs behind.